Hello, welcome back to another Inspired Express end user operation training video. Today, we're going to talk about nesting content. Throughout this series of videos, we've created several different pieces of signage, including this main.svg file, this menu.svg file, and this food.svg file. These different pieces of signage are designed to be all playing together and working together. However, the only file that is currently being used by our sign is main.svg. main.svg is the only file that's actually in index.svg. So at the moment, that's the only piece of sign that's currently playing. So these other pieces of signage, even though we've created them, aren't playing in our sign right now. So how do we incorporate those into our sign? Well, we're going to show you how to do that. What we're going to do is nest our content inside of a playlist. And the reason we call this nesting is because we'll have a playlist playing on index.svg. And in that playlist, we'll have several other layers SVG files, including several SVG files that are playing other SVG files, like in food.svg, that's based upon a calendar, or in menu.svg, which is actually playing an RSS feed. So you have several different types of playlists, SVG files, and calendars, all nested within other SVG files and playlists. That's why we call this nesting content, because we've been creating little pieces of content, and now we're going to put all those pieces together to create a really complex sign. And to begin doing this, we're going to right-click and do New Playlist. So I just created a new playlist. and scroll down here to find it. NewPlaylist.svg and right click and rename that and we're just going to call this main playlist. And I'm just going to open main playlist.svg and I'm just going to put all these different pieces of content inside of the main playlist. And that's going to include main.svg, food.svg and menu.svg. And let's also put the video that we've been watching. Let's put that in there too. Now main.svg is our main signage piece that we created earlier on in the course, and that's the piece of sign that we're probably going to be wanting to watch most of the time. These other elements like food.svg and menu.svg are just small bits of sign that we want to be playing for a few seconds and then return to main.svg. So let's actually put main.svg into the playlist a couple more times. So where this will work, it'll play main.svg, and then we'll play food.svg for a while, and then go back to main.svg. And then again, I'll go to menu and back to main.svg. And then I'll play the video, and then since it's the playlist, it'll loop and go back to main.svg. And so that's the idea. And now that we have our order set, let's save our changes. We need to adjust our timings. Because we're using these layers SVG files, we need to alter the timings so that all of our timing is set the way we want to. Now there's a lot of different ways that you can do this, but actually the way we're going to do it is we're actually going to adjust the timings here inside of our playlist. See right now our duration is set to media. So it's going to look inside main.svg and see what its duration is. But right now its duration is set to indefinite. So this is going to play forever. Now I could change the duration of main.svg to something and it would play for that period of time and go to the next content. But since I don't have that duration set, I'm actually going to adjust it here. Remember if we went back and looked at playlists before, we have the default slide duration. If the duration is set to indefinite, well then it's going to look at this default duration to see how long it's going to play. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set all of these different pieces of content to indefinite inside of the playlist. And once all of these slides are set to indefinite, then the playlist will read off of its own internal duration. Right now the duration of showreel.wmv is set to media, and we can actually leave it at media because it's a video and so it has a set duration. But this video is actually a bit long. It's actually over two minutes long, which is a bit long for what we're wanting to do. So we're actually going to set it to indefinite too. Now right now it's not set to loop. If we adjust our duration for this video for any longer than the actual length of the video, it's just going to stop at the end of the video. So we want to be sure it's repeating. 
and it'll repeat indefinitely until it reaches its max duration. So that's the idea of this repeating here. If I set this video to play for 30 minutes, then it'll continue looping for 30 minutes rather than stopping after its two minutes of length. So I'm just going to click OK. All right, so the duration for all of our content is now set. And so we're actually going to apply our changes and save that. And let's play it to just see what it looks like. And so it's going to play for a few seconds, and then it'll fade to the next piece of content. And then that'll play for five seconds, and it'll fade to the next piece of content. Now that's a bit fast, so let's adjust our duration, some of our properties here. So I'm going to pause this. And let's go inside of our properties and adjust that. The first thing we need to adjust, hopefully you remember, we need to go to our default slide duration. Let's alter that. Let's alter it to 30 seconds. That's long enough to actually see some of the content on the slide, and we'll set our default slide duration to 30 seconds. And then also, let's change our transition. If you saw, all the transitions are fades, but let's actually change this to random. That'll make our slide transitions a little bit more interesting. Let's apply our changes, and let's play that to see how that looks. Okay, you saw that. It wiped in there, and so our changes seem to be working. But let's pause this for a second. Now, 30 seconds is going to be fine for this main slide content here, but what about our other content? Let's go back to our playlist and show you what I mean. Now, food.svg, if you watch the calendar video, then you remember that this slide is actually just a playlist of a few images displaying food content at different times of day. We don't really need that playlist of images to be playing for the full 30 seconds. 10 seconds would probably be enough for that, and the same thing for the menu. So let's actually adjust this food content here. So I'll just set it to 10S and press OK. My point is here that you need to be sure you customize the play length of your content to play for however long it needs to play. Just because it's a playlist, not everything has to play the same length. You want to set your default duration to match the length that you want most of your content, but if you have content that you want to play for a shorter period of time, you can adjust that. So the whole idea of using this playlist to drive your sign content is to remember that you can adjust your timing to match whatever content you're playing. All right, we've got all our timing set, so I'm just going to apply these changes and save them. And let's play to see how it looks. All right, and 30 seconds later, we should have a transition here. And there we go. We see our snacks, and that wiped in. And that's going to play for about 10 seconds. And there we go. It's going to fade, and it'll fade back to our sign content. And so there, now you have a complex bit of signage here that's playing different types of content. And now we're ready to put this back into our main content. Now, if you remember, our sign is only playing what's inside of index.svg. Let's close this and open index.svg. Remember, we just have main.svg in here right now. We don't need that. Let's actually delete that. And now we need to put in our playlist. However, if you noticed, during all those transitions, there is transparency while it's fading to and from our slide content. So we're not just fading to black while we're going to and from our content. Let's actually put a background image in here. So the idea is when we're transitioning from one content to another, we'll see this background and not just a black screen. That'll make everything look a lot smoother. So I'm just going to put main playlist.svg on top of that background, and we can save that. You want to play? Now let's make that full screen. And let's wait here and see what it looks like at the transition. Okay, here's the transition. And see how that faded? That looked a lot better. However, when you saw that wipe, you still saw the background of this wiping over our blank background. And so we can actually make that look even smoother if we delete the background in all of our other slides. I'll just 